Millions of people around the world are getting caught up in the excitement of the World Cup, including these scientists at NASA Ames. They've been doing experiments trying to figure out why so many more goals are being scored this year than usual. Ron Force J.R. Stone is live at the Civic Center where preparations are getting underway for the big viewing party tomorrow. J.R.? Well, they certainly are underway, Catherine. I can tell you off in the distance, you can look and you can see one of the jumbotrons they put out here. Not turned on, though, because the game isn't until 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. But tonight, we're talking soccer balls. This is a new soccer ball. But this soccer ball has 32 panels on it. And a soccer ball like this hasn't been used in the World Cup for 12 years. I went down to NASA Ames to get the experts' reaction on this. Blows the air down. Uh, through this chamber, which we call a test section. A test section that's being used on soccer balls at NASA Ames in Mountain View. Dr. Robbie Maida isn't in the business of designing soccer balls, but he has done extensive research on them. This year, it was reported that 108 goals have been scored in the first 36 matches. That's well above 77 at the last World Cup. Question is, well, is it the ball? <laughs> and I'm asked this on a daily basis. And uh, I would say you cannot discount the ball. In 2002, there were 32 panels in the soccer ball used in the World Cup. 14 panels in 2006, 8 panels in 2010 on a ball called the Jubilani. But there were complaints from players who said the ball was knuckling when they shot it. Testing was done, and this new ball, the brazuca, was made. So far, more goals and no complaints. Between about 30 and 50 miles an hour, the drag on this ball, the drag that slows it down as it flies through the air, is a lot less on the brazuca compared to the jabalani. Meaning shots may be more precise. The new brazuca is rougher on the outside, which Dr. Meta says creates friction between the foot and the ball, which means players may be able to get better spin on this new ball. It's the same aerodynamics, whether it's a space shuttle, an airplane, or a soccer ball. And that's a pretty pricey ball, too, huh? Only $160. <laughs> Bargain. Bargain, $160, and you can't find those balls in most stores here. But again, setup already underway. Viewing party here tomorrow morning, 9 a.m., thousands expected. Live in San Francisco, J.R. Stone, Cron 4 News.